Good morning. Bonjour. Uh, and welcome to the International Space Station. Welcome to the suborbital day of the 2020-2021 Student Aerospace Challenge. So today you cannot meet in person to conclude this edition. Uh, instead, you're probably joining from home, uh, just like me, from my temporary home, the, the International Space Station, where I get to spend six months uh, for the Alpha mission. Uh, it's always a pleasure for me to address university students from around Europe uh, with different backgrounds, but with the same interest in, uh, in aerospace. Uh, after all, you're the, the next generation. We'll make our dreams of today possible. In 2017, after returning from space uh, from my first day on the ISS, I had the opportunity to meet and congratulate the winning teams of the challenge during the Paris Le Bourget air show, barely three weeks after coming back to Earth. Uh, I remember how enthusiastic the students were about studying different aspects of suborbital aircraft from technical to legal or medical points of view, uh, with the support of experts from uh, ACE, Ariane Group, uh, Dassault Aviation, ESA, and the National Air and Space Museum of France. I know you've been working hard on your project for several months now to contribute to the study of, the study of future space planes for manned suborbital flights or for point-to-point -point high speed, long range trips. Um, congratulations on, on your achievement. I wish you uh, the very best of luck on your presentations and I look forward to seeing the results of this year's challenge. So goodbye and see you soon.